All right, everyone. So Joe Shane, GM of the New York Giants, was asked about 2024 and Daniel Jones, the contract he's under. Here's what he had to say. You said, like, this is the year. We need to like, find out if he's the guy. Is it disconcerting at all that you have that feeling after you guaranteed him $82 million a year ago? Yeah, I think the context of that conversation was coming off of, again, these are small snippets in thousands of conversations. So within the context of that situation and the way the contract is structured and the way last year went, yeah, I think that's a fair assessment that yeah, we need we need better in 2024. All right, so everything Joe Shane says here is true. And the Daniel Jones contract has been one of the worst reported things in quite some time, right? It's not to say you can't debate whether they should have done the deal or whether 40 million was the right amount or could they have gotten them for less. That's not what we're talking about. The part that's not talked about is this two-year out clause that the Giants have, right? Which as long as Daniel Jones doesn't get hurt this season, the Giants can get out of Daniel Jones's contract. That was put in there for this exact reason of we get to see now him over the next two years if he's the quarterback for the future or not. That was the entire point. That was the whole point of this because he's coming off this great 2022. You're not going to try to just let him walk after that considering how the prior time has gone for the Giants. So what do you do? Oh, okay, we're going to give him a four-year deal, but it has two years in there that you can get out of it, right? So that's what we're looking at this year. And so the message is clear. Jones, if he doesn't play well, he's out. If he does play well, he's back in. And the media will never cover that, I guess, because it maybe doesn't drive you know, the ratings properly, but that's the truth of, of the situation. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next.